Okay, this is the large treaded robot with SRV electronics. Um, and this robot is about 34 inches long and about uh, 20 inches wide. Um, it's made for outdoors. Um, it has a camera with tilt in the front. Um, two lasers, just like an SRV. The uh, tilt mechanism was custom for this chassis. Okay. The um, on top here is a plastic lid that allows the nav board to see the sky because it has a GPS, magnetic compass, and um, tilt sensors on board. Um, to get into the robot is all the exterior, all the screws around the perimeter here. You do not need to take the screws off of the piece of plastic. Um, on the back is the on switch and charge plug. Charge plug is an Anderson power pole slide in right here. And this is the on switch, which I'm going to go ahead and turn on. Okay, so we have a green light, which means that we have power. And if we made a sight hole in uh, this part of the robot, which allows you to see the blinking green light, and that means that the speed controller is not yet initi initiated. And then down this sight hole, you can see the blue light for the nav board showing that it is, it is now on. So if we turn on the SRV console, which was specially tuned for this robot, and we currently have the console running at running the robot at slow speeds. And that's the video coming from the robot. We can try a little up and down on the camera. See, the camera goes up, goes down. Um, as I said, this you can do a little up and down on the camera again, right? And you can turn on the lasers. And we got lasers on. I can sometimes help help you tell if something's above or below you, um, give a little bit of better sense of how far away something is. And we're going to do a little bit of drive test. As I said, we've slowed down the motors considerably for doing in-shop testing. This is nowhere near full speed. Give me some forward. Okay, stop. Back. Stop. Pivot. Stop. Okay, so that's base the basic control system of this uh, large chassis robot. Um, the console allows you to do some of that kind of remote control testing once it's on your uh, Wi-Fi network. It's currently set up in ad hoc mode, um, and it can be put on your infrastructure Wi-Fi system, as well as run outdoors, uh, you still will need the Wi-Fi connecting it to the computer out there, uh, unless it has a, a standalone program on board and, and is being guided by its GPS.